Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Saturday the 14th of April. These are some cheap um, training collars we got from Walmarts that, uh, I forget what it's called. The one that has the, the little connector ring or D-ring is, is at their chest. And um, these these were only like $10 at Walmarts instead of $20 for the other one. The other one definitely works better. But uh, these these do work. But uh, man, it's been windy and wet today. And at times, just absolutely pouring. Anyway, I'm just out here going for a little walk with the mutts. Taking them for their little outings. They'll bring the camera with me. They got Kylie standing out there in the dang rain. What a meathead. Of course I am too, but I've got my Carhartt coat and a rain hat and everything else on. <laughs> Alright, you guys can get tangled up in there. Back it up. She's still a pummeling out here. Boy, that Sasha, she did not want to go in after that walk. It was like the walk of shame for her. Anyway, I have a little project. You know, I've been wanting to do the first service on the excuse me the street glide but uh can't find two things a dry enough day to take it out and get it fully hot to drain everything and on the after work things when there's been a couple of days i don't have the time to to perform the service you know got to move everything around it's a big bike she needs to be out in the open so i'm gonna do something else so you guys remember we came out here some time ago and i was checking all the brakes the dr was really bad so i uh, flushed it this one was right on the it really needed to be flushed and i was going to get the steel braided brake lines well i haven't done that and too much time's gone by i'm gonna go ahead and and uh, flush the brakes on it i mean if i get the steel braided lines i gotta flush them again anyway so might as well just get it right but unfortunately you can't turn the bar any angle to get that reservoir to lay level so i have to loosen the bars if you guys remember last time i had to loosen the clamp and uh and roll the thing the bars back to get the correct angle so i gotta do that first but uh anyway i'll have you guys with me we'll do a quick brake bleed on this thing front and rear you guys remember me telling you need to make sure that that and you can't go by the cap especially on a harley because the cap is thicker on the side than it is on the bottom you need to pay attention to the ceiling area of that that's where a laser can be real real handy because <laughs> for obvious reasons you want the level the master cylinder to be as level as possible because if not uh it's going to tilt to one side when you try to put the uh cap back on uh one, it's hard to get the oil level to the correct height. And when you put the cap back on the uh, uh, diaphragm in there, it's going to push the fluid out all over your bike, and it makes a huge mess. And you guys remember what percent that thing was last time we were in there? two percent so that's right that's right on the verge of of going too far make sure you uh clean these things off too number one never point the exhaust of one of these things at anything because sometimes they can miss brake fluid out and missed it brake fluid all over your motorcycle guess what that equals not a good thing there goes the air compressor on top of that But I suck these things dry. Because I'm not going to mix old fluid down with the new fluid. I always suck it out of the window. Right around it. Alright, next. You want to start, you want to make sure that your, what your brake fluid is. This is dot four. Some Harleys are dot five, so be very careful of that. And there's a new one out, it's called dot 5.1. This don't even, it's just too risky to mess with. It's just a, supposed to be a better version of dot four. The only person ever used it, I think was KTM. 
But uh, dot four is fine. Make sure it's a good name brand. Don't buy anything cheap. But uh, make sure it's from a sealed container. Do not ever reuse brake fluid. Once I'm done with this, even if I only use that much of it, she's out of here. So anyway, out of a clean container, let me open this up right quick and we'll go over to the bike. Okay, nice clean open container. Little mama came out here to say hey. She probably didn't know the camera was on, so she, she's probably going to go, I don't like that thing at me. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty that is. So the first bite, taking it loose, you need to get a good hold of everything. Uh, yeah, all right. So Harley didn't over tighten it, which is nice. Anyway, grab your little bleed barrel, give her a squeeze, let her start flushing, and watch your reservoir. You open it. There she goes, a flowing. Don't let it get too low. But anyway, I usually do. If the fluid's really bad, I'll do a couple three flushes. But since I'm going to throw what's left of this bottle away, I'm going to go ahead and do three flushes on it. So all I'm doing is watching the fluid level. You got the vacuum. If you're doing it by hand, you know, you just do it like you do a car. But with the vacuum gauge, I just watch it as it goes down. You got to be very careful when you're pushing the lever because the return holes will shoot the fluid up and it can land on your bike. I think I went over that with you guys last time. So go very slow. So anyway, I'm gonna flush this two more times and then we'll be right back. So from here, I need to go in and wash and thoroughly dry that with water. Don't ever take a cap off and stick it back on. It will, I'm telling you, it will not seal. If it seals, it's, you're, it's out of pure luck. And what happens is the brake fluid will weep and even though that's a good powder coating on these master cylinders, it will eat through it. And you'll see people all the time with the paint all flaked on their cap and around their reservoir where that thing is leaked. So you got to wash it off with water. Water just dissolves brake fluid immediately. That's why it's so important to flush these often. So I leave it low, go in, wash it out, dry it out thoroughly, and then come back with a dry cap and top it off. And I cap it off, set my bars back where they belong, and then I'll do the rear right quick. All right, so the cap's all been washed off and dried. So um, we'll top her off here. And there's a full, full line mark over here on the side. Go to the full line. And I always leave a little rag handy so the bottle doesn't drip onto something. I assemble. A little I don't know it's kind of like a guide or a holder or something for the for the diaphragm I put that on make sure this is still nice and dry which it is and slip that down I set the cover on use a good sharp screwdriver don't don't use something that's wore out or you got somebody in the family that doesn't know the difference between a, you know, the numbers of a of a Phillips screwdriver and used your number two in a number three hole, that nicks them up, and in return, it's gonna nick up your your screws and make them look nasty or worse. You're gonna strip one out. Anyway, got fresh uh, brake fluid throughout the front. Gonna move stuff around here a little bit and then we'll uh, we'll knock out the rear right fast. The rear will be even quicker yet. All right, with everything handy, make sure your cables and stuff are out of the way because you're gonna have to lift over and the diaphragm may wanna come with it. And it wants to, of course. You don't want to introduce any dirt to this thing. Look at that. 3%. Am I seeing the 4% light flashing there too? Yeah, she's definitely 3%. Yeah, that's definitely uh, definitely time to change. And I told you guys once before, usually the rear is worse. All right, so I'm going to... 
I'm going to pause here for a second and um, put this thing on a stand. That way the bike is level and everything. I don't want to be working with it like this. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, several of you guys have asked about these because I use these same jacks at work. Those uh, flat scissor jacks. Um, K&L Supply and the part number is MC-450. MC-450. And again, we're going to suck the the old fluid out. We're not going to leave. We're not going to start off trying to pull old, old fluid through it. So I'm going to hook up my air. And I'll pull that out right quick. Fill her up with brake fluid. Then you can lock this thing down so it just stays in bleed mode. That way I don't have to hold it. There she is, she's pulling the fluid out. Anyway, that's the first flush. I'm gonna do it two more times. Air compressor's running, so I'm gonna bail out until that thing's done. All right, that's the, uh, that's the third flush. And uh, the fluid coming through the line was perfectly clean, so I know I, I got it good and flushed out. Actually, <laughs> by the end of the first one, it was looking pretty clean, and then I just do it two more times. Very simple thing, and your brakes, needless to say, are vitally important to you, like crazy important to you. Every two years or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first, flush that brake fluid. It's a simple thing to do. Very few bikes are complicated to do. In fact, this one having to move the bars around is probably way more complicated than anything I work on at work. But if you love your motorcycle, like I love this old iron, be kind to them. Flush them brakes. But uh, anyway, same deal. Going to run in the house and uh, wash this off. Wash it, dry it. And uh, we'll come back out here, top this off right quick. And um, we'll be done with it. One of the other things you can do before you cap it off is usually debris will float on top of the fluid. So just look for look for items floating on the top. You don't want that in your brakes. But these are all nice and clean and dry. And as usual, I will flip the diaphragm in first. Set her down in there, all easy peasy. These uh, cables and stuff are kind of presenting a little bit of a challenge, but we'll get past it. I could just knock the reservoir loose of its mount as well, but it's not that big of a problem. You don't need to go Buck Wiley tight like Harley had that thing on there, but make them snug. And then a little protective cover. And there we are. The iron has nice, fresh brake fluid throughout. Love you, old gal. Good old gal. Cool. And I'm sure about a hundred of you are going to ask what this light is. It's an Astro. 40 SL or the Astro 40 SL. That's it for a brake fluid flush. I'll throw the rest of that away, clean up what mess I got left here, and put the bike where it belongs, and that'll be it. So, uh, thank you guys for doing a little. This is probably more of a motor vlog thing than a daily vlog, but I kind of do everything on, on both, it seems, anyway. All right. That's it. Oh, and uh, I noticed it when I was editing the video that night and fixed them. But thanks for the tip on uh, me putting the, the little battery cells in there upside down. I'd have, uh, yeah, and the reason it was reading and somebody even mentioned that because the other key was sitting on the seat. So uh, anyway, I'd have been pulling my hair out trying to figure out what was going on first time I went to ride it. But I caught it in the video, so, but anyway. I do appreciate you guys, so thanks for hanging out for the brake flush tonight. Oh, heck yeah. 
I done stayed out here until past dark. Man, listen to that. It's still just a pouring out here. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. And we have a an extra visitor here today. This is one of the one of the puppies. All right. They're a mixture of of that shepherd color and the black and white border collie color <laughs> color, just like the um, the first two litters. So. Yeah, the same thing. And they're kind of the same way. They get a fairly good size pretty quick. I'm surprised that Sasha and Annie aren't just huge dogs because they just got so big so oh, fast. And that daggum border collie's been over here sniffing around at that ash or Abby. So we've been shooting. He listens very well. You go, go home and whoo, takes off, goes across the field. Yeah. And if he gets a little too interested, fire off a. BB gun and hit the tin roof out there on the shed. Yeah, I hear this. He's, ping. He's yeah, he's gone. gone. He's out of here, boy. The ears tucked, tail between his legs, and he scurries across the fields out there and ends up at his house. Yeah, puppies are adorable, but enough is enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. See, say hi, everybody. Yeah, he's a hi. cute little fella. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> They're so good. They're not skittish or nothing. Yeah. They're great, and yeah, it's just entertaining. It's like you hear this little barking, and they're playing, and carrying on, and yelping, and they go to sleep. It's all silent for a while, and then all of a sudden you hear, <laughs> I know it. off they all go, you know. But we're going to make this a quick one tonight, because I filmed a lot out there goofing around with them iron brakes. I know it. I know that's more of a motor vlog thing than, than this, but kind of something that I've been wanting to do, even though... I, I didn't spend a lot of time looking for the steel braided lines and last time I rode it I was thinking about it and I'm going, yeah, I'm not going to gain that much, you know. Yeah. I've been riding it for five years and haven't complained. But, you know, as the brake, those, the lines get older, they do, you know, expand more. But we'll worry about that later. It's you know, just another quick flush. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, I think we're going to roll out, puppy in hand. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. Thanks for all the super kind yeah. comments about Kelly's dad and happy birthdays and everything to him. That was super cool. And uh, I'm sure you got a bunch on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Too, yeah. So, anyway. You guys are amazingly sweet. Oh, heck yeah. So. We're going to pack the puppy in because I'm sure Madison is sitting right there at the door. Yeah, going, going, where'd you go? Yeah, she's watching <laughs> her walk out with it. So, All, All right. right. So we're going to roll out on you guys. You guys take care. All right. Thank you again. Yeah, thanks a lot now. Bye-bye.